Do you know our, our first guest as Mitchell Pritchett on 11 seasons of The Great Show Modern Family. Since they wrapped that up, he has been working on this new cookbook. It's called Food Between Friends. Please welcome Jesse Tyler Ferguson. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? I'm hugging you. I'm hugging you? I'm hug <laughs> when people do this and they tell you what they're doing, I'm hugging you. I'm hugging you. <laughs> this is nice to be out of the house. Thanks for inviting me. How long has it been since you've been out? Um, does the grocery store count? That's it, yeah. That's it then, the grocery store. Wow. Um, I was disappointed because we do, we do rapid COVID tests if we want to come sit with you in person, yeah. that you did not come to my house to do the test. It was just someone I didn't know. <laughs> That actually Jeremy was me. Yeah, I was wearing a mask, so sometimes I'm <laughs> unrecognizable. It was definitely a woman, so. When I give the test, I do it Chinese style. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, congratulations on your, uh, your little boy. You had a baby over the summer. I did, yeah. Where was the baby born, here in LA? No, uh, Beckett was born in Las, Las Vegas, actually. In Las Vegas, yeah, that's my hometown. It Las is Vegas. it? Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so, but you know, driving to Vegas. Wait, in July, why was he born in Vegas? Why? Well, that's where our surrogate was. Oh, okay. Yeah, All right. and so, but to to drive to Vegas in July in the middle of a pandemic, and stay at a casino to like wait for your baby to be born was not something that was pleasant, <laughs> or, or something I want to ever do again. But you know, we also we, there was a bit of a holding pattern, you know, while we were waiting for for Becca to come. And so we were uh -huh. waiting at the hotel and we were eating at uh, the restaurants at the hotel slash casino. And we would be, we ate outside because it was, you know, yeah. COVID, yeah. but it was also 115 degrees. Yeah, right, yeah. So we're eating like sushi outside in the heat, like waiting for, <laughs> and the nerves of like being new parent, it was awful, <laughs> awful. Because so, they wouldn't let you in the hospital. They wouldn't let us in the hospital until it was time. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was, it, it was great. And when we drove back from, from Vegas back to, to LA, I was nervous because, you know, I, I assumed he'd be screaming and crying the whole time. He slept the entire way for four hours. I think he sensed that we were, you know, we've had a rough, we'd had a rough few days. Uh -huh. He's like, I'm just gonna hang back and like really just. Maybe that's a good sign, you know? He's yeah. not giving you a hard time. Is he giving you a hard time? He's, you know, he's, he's challenging, I think, as any baby is, but he's actually a really, really good kid. And um, I, uh, I'm just, every day is a new thing and I'm having a lot of fun with him. And Was he eight months now, July, eight months, you say? Yeah. Eight months, yeah. yeah. Has he been back to Vegas? Does he miss it? <laughs> he had a he had a gambling problem, so we he had did, to yeah. really keep him away. <laughs> and by gambling, he's like, if I fart, will it maybe be a poop? I don't know. <laughs> That's serious That's gambling. That's a serious gamble, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you lose 200 bucks, big deal. <laughs> Something like that can haunt you for the whole rest of your life. Has your modern family, your TV family, met the boy yet? Some of them have. A lot of them have been like Eric's in, in you know, back home with his parents for a little while, so he hasn't met met Beckett. But um, I had a, a 45th birthday party um, outside. I feel like we have to say that outside. So I know it's, it's always like uh, we didn't kill anyone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and uh, Julie and Sophia and Sarah all came. They were the only three that were able to come. And um, Sarah was right on time, so she got to meet Beckett before he went down. Uh, Julie had to work late, uh, so she didn't get to meet him. And Sophia was two hours late, as she is with everything. <laughs> so <laughs> she didn't come. <laughs> she didn't get to meet him yet. Uh, Julie, however, did like call me. It was like, I'm coming to your house. I'm breaking down the door. I've been tested 900 times. I'm working right now, so like I know I'm safe. I got to meet this baby. So she actually did get it. She that. did. Yeah. And Eric has not. You has say has not. Just over Facetime. Who sent the best gift? Oh, um, who sent the best? I gift? can see Eric sending him like a box of steaks or something. <laughs> he did send a box of steaks, but that was to me over the you? holidays. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you know, Julie has just started knitting in the past few years, so she's knit him like little beanies and booties, and that's, oh. I, I mean, things that are homemade. I mean, I, that what that would you do with those things? Heart. When I know Julie made them and they mean something to you, but at a certain point, pot holders, <laughs> pot holders for tiny little itty bitty pots. You work it right back into the <laughs> yeah. kitchen. I like that. <laughs> you, um, well, we're gonna talk about your book in a minute. I want to mention though your documentary. Mm -hmm. You. And your husband co-executive produced a documentary. Yes. A very heavy, serious thing that's on the Oscar shortlist, right? It now. is. It's called Welcome to Chechnya. It's on the Oscar shortlist in two categories, actually, for best documentary 
feature and also best visual effects. And it's about the, the gay purge and persecution of the LGBTQ community in, in Chechnya and sort of the underground rainbow railroad that, that helps these people escape and, and, um, to, and save their lives. And it's about the volunteers that do this. And it it's really plays out like a thriller because it's all done with you know cell phone cameras and hidden cameras. And we had to also protect the um, identity of these people who we were saving. So there's deep fake technology on their face to protect their identities, which is why the the, Os the movie's being shortlisted for the Oscars in visual effects, which is the first time that's ever happened. So what you did is you superimposed... Uh, actors' faces. Actors' faces mm -hmm. on the real people. Yeah. So it looks like there's a person, but it's not the person. We didn't want to take away the emotion of the people by having them blurred out or pixelated, so... But you wanted to protect them also. Also protect them, and you know, it's, it's, it's really amazing that we've taken that technology that is usually considered to be something that's, you know, evil, deep fake. Right. This and, might be the first made something really like, positive, positive out of it. use of deep yeah. fake technology. This is probably going to be the only positive use of deep fake technology. <laughs> I don't see anything else anything good coming out of that. I personally want to superimpose my face onto like sh sitcoms right now so it looks like I'm still a working actor. Well, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> Right, well, we'll that would be out. a good use of it. <laughs> Jesse Tyler Ferguson is with us. We'll be right back. We are back with Jesse Tyler Ferguson. This is his book. It's called Food Between Friends, and you wrote it with your friend, Julie Tannis. How do you even go about writing a cookbook? Because every recipe, I mean, it's hard to come up with yeah. new stuff, isn't it? It is, and it's, it's hard to, like, put your own personal... First of all, as you're looking through cookbooks, looks which we were doing, probably. I was yeah. like, everyone's done everything. Mm -hmm. There's no new ideas in the world. All the new ideas are gone. So it's like, how do you make them personal? It's true. Look for a good idea and let me know about it. Um, yeah. Yeah, it happens like once every like 18 months now. 18 months is right. like one good idea. Right. So it's like, how do you make it special to you and, and personal to you? And a lot of it's the stories and like what the recipes mean to you. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it, you know, I'm from New Mexico. Julie's from Alabama. Oh. So it's a lot of the... What do you There's your New Mexico influence right sauce. there, the hatch green chili sauce. Hatch green chilies are something that, like, the best ones come from New Mexico. Yeah, yeah they're, and they're they come, like, to the once area. a year. Yep. And you have to stock up on them or else you're not getting them all year. Stock up on them, yep. Yeah. And uh, so there's a lot of homages to the food that we grew up eating. I realized as I was making the book, though, that there are a lot of recipes from the, the 80s that were done with canned soups. Oh, really? Yes. Like, cream of mushroom soup was on everything. Oh, yeah. I remember and that. And it was delicious, but I'm like, not super fresh. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, and and probably not that delicious either. Really, no, yeah, like really they good. pour the they pour it over the top. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. You're yeah. supposed to be like, oh yeah, that's good. And mom. definitely not photographable. <laughs> <laughs> this is delicious, mom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What was going on? I think because at that time our mothers were busy smoking and talking on the phone for most of the <laughs> it's day. True. Or was it just that just my house? I don't know. <laughs> Are you disappointed or relieved that you're not going on a book signing tour? I mean, it's, it's, it's sad not to, you know, be able to travel, but um, I am going to several independent bookstores in the area and signing their, their stock that they have um, so that people can, you know, know that there are signed books at these independent bookstores and hopefully give them a little burst of business. Not to say, like, my book is so amazing that it's going to, like, drive all these people to the bookstore, but it, it might. Hurt. It's, it's a good thing it, to do. Couldn't hurt. Who taught you to cook? Um, kind of myself. My mom is actually not bad in the kitchen at all. And a lot of her recipes are, um, are versions of her recipes I, I updated for the book. I see. But, um, I, you know, I, I just, my, my friend Julie, really, who I wrote this book with, has been a real help for me. What is the best meal you've ever prepared? If you think back on all the meals you've prepared, which is yeah. the one that you remember being just, just hitting it out of the park? Well, for this my, my past anniversary with, with Justin during quarantine, I, uh, I ordered in caviar and champagne, and then I made chicken fingers actually from the book. So it was like nice highs and lows. Chicken fingers and caviar. Chicken fingers and caviar. You know what? It's amazing. That's the thing. It's like, you know, you can make a lot of things, and a lot of things are really good. Some things are complicated. Yeah. Some things are expensive. But you just can't beat chicken fingers. There's nothing better nothing than chicken better. fingers. Nothing better. Truly. <laughs> And, like, if I'm at a restaurant, I'm like, can I see the kids' menu? Because uh, I know yeah. there's chicken fingers on there. You know, it's funny because, like, if I'll have, you know, kids will come over or whatever, I'm cooking for the adults and the kids. I've now learned not to put, not to make enough chicken fingers because the adults will eat nothing oh, yeah. but the, they'll eat the kids' chicken fingers. Yeah. And then nobody eats the meal that comes after it. Right. And the kids are left with, like, the French onion soup. And they're like, I don't want that. Yeah, right. <laughs> 
I'm opening a can of cream of mushroom and pouring it over the top. <laughs> Well, it's very good to see you. Thanks for coming. Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, this is the book. It's called Food Between Friends. If you have them, friends, or, or food, <laughs> or, or either food. one of those things is perfect for you. <laughs> it is out now. Jesse Tyler Ferguson, everybody. We'll be back with Vanessa Kirby. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Click below to subscribe to our YouTube channel, or if you want to be that way about it, don't.